at uh, Gary and Glenn, Arcadia, California, School of Jiu Jitsu. Uh, John Gavin, this one uh, is to answer your question about setting up the harpoon guard, uh, getting your arms. So we're going to try and walk through the setup very slowly and what it is exactly that we're trying to do each move, what the purpose is. So. I'm side control bottom. Let's move back just a little bit. I'm side control bottom. And Gary's got me everywhere. My arm's trapped. I can't get it in there. I can't get this hand on this side. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to reach over, I'm going to grab the collar, and put a thumb in, and I'm going to get it close to the shoulder as I can. The reason when I bump to get this hand under, I'm going to pull his shoulder this, this way, not up like a punch, but actually that way. What I'm trying to do is separate his head from my chin to make room so I can get my elbow over so that I can grab the belt. Okay. So we're there. I'm going to grab that. Then even so I, my arm is trapped there, I'm going to reach and grab at his elbow. This is where I'm going to do the bump. At the same time, three things are happening. This is going that way, this is coming up, and this elbow here is going under his stomach. So I'm there to there. I've got it. I'm going to keep pressure here, reach over, grab the belt. This is where I think you were said you have a problem getting this elbow under his head. We really don't want it under his head. I want it on the side of his head here. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to start walking. And as I'm walking, I'm driving this shoulder to the mat. As I'm walking my hips, and I'm actually going to try and take this elbow and bury it on my hip. I'm not really under, but I'm kind of on the side of his face. I'm pulling this belt down. Walking, getting that knee up, and driving this to his Move around a little more. Keep going, keep going. I'm driving this in there, locking that arm in. Now that my hand is here, I can easily push him, get that leg over. Now I've got him, I can get the arm bar, the wrist lock, or just start working to get this triangle, to get the tap can start attacking here, these different, different ones there. So again, there, I'm going to open it, grab it deep, come up, pushing that way, come over, grab the belt, drive it down, walk, there, driving this elbow into my hip, pushing his head away, getting it over. Okay. What we also discovered what we can do, we can set him up. Once I'm here, I'm going to raise this leg straight up. He's going to feel this arm is trapped, so he's going to try and pull it out. I'm going to actually bait him and slowly let him get it out and catch it. Once I've got it caught, push the head, come over, get the reverse triangle. Pull the arm get the choke, or I can start attacking this arm. So again, we're going to bait him. There, raise this leg, let that come out, right the triangle. Okay, so I hope that explains, as we're walking around here, we're driving this into this elbow, and that's what's trapping the arm. I can push this to get the head out of the way. I can push to get it over. So I hope that helps you, John. Uh, if not, hit us up again. We'll, we'll do the best that we can. In the meantime, stay treacherous.